Hello, my name is Josh Rose, CTO of Facetech, and I'll be running through Facetech's Server SDK dashboard with you. This is a demo dashboard, but your dashboard will show all the 3D face scans that have been processed by this Server SDK. None of your users' biometric data or personally identifiable data is ever sent to Facetech. OK, so now I need to show you how we get data in the dashboard. I'll use myself as an example. So here we are. We're going to do a liveness check session. I'll put my face in the small oval, and now the larger one. Here we're creating a 3D face map and evaluating it on the server. And there we go, liveness confirmed. We've got my 2D reference image here, but remember that we've got a 3D face scan behind the scenes that the AI is making the real decision on. But it's not in a format viewable by humans, so we have this 2D image taken from the beginning of the session to look at. So you can see liveness was passed, and what that means is that we have very high confidence that this live 3D physically present person is in front of the camera. For more information, please see liveness.com. There's a lot of great info on that site. Back on the dashboard, you can see we also make an age estimation from the 3D face map and then show more details about the device and the session. If we wanted to, we could also get a copy of the photo ID. So I'll go to photo ID match. I'm going to capture the front of the ID. That portion is going to get uploaded. The upload's complete, and it's now going to be doing some processing on the back end. After that processing is complete, we're going to scan the back. It's now uploading. And after the upload is complete, it processes the back. So I pass liveness. There I am, and there is my ID and my 3D face map matched my ID photo to a level 7, which is a 1 in 500,000 false accept rate. You can also see the data that was OCR'd from the document here. On the right, you can see some of the other checks we do, like ensuring the photo ID is fully visible, is a physical ID, and has not been presented from a screen, and whether or not the document has been tampered with. All of these checks are bubbled up into the red flag section, which you can see right here, and hover over to see which flags were hit. On the far right, you can see the result of checking this new account creation versus all other accounts that have been created in order to ensure that no duplicate user accounts are created in your system. We've recently added numerous algorithms like photo and text tampering, as well as barcode scanning and NFC scanning to complete the onboarding suite. So now I'm onboarded, I've got my new account, and let's say I wanted to come back and use a 3D face scan instead of a password. So now I go to authenticate and perform another session. Scan complete. When we look at the matching page, there I am. I matched my previously enrolled 3D face map at a 1 in 125 million false accept rate. So my 3D face map from earlier and the one from the session I just did matched very highly. The match level was a 15, which means that there is only a 1 in 125 million chance that this is not the same person. So that was the flow for a legitimate user. Now let's say we have a fraudster and we need to stop them from setting up fake accounts. So we open up the details on the fraudulent user and we check the box and click Add to Fraud List. Now, when any new user account is created, it will be scanned against this face map and all other face maps on the fraud list. So here I am added to the fraud list page. So now I'll go back and try to enroll again, and let's see what happens. So I'll do the liveness check. And there we go. I got a liveness success. But let's see what happens on the dashboard. OK, so here on the Fraud Flags page, you can see the system has successfully raised a flag on the session that I just did. This page provides a variety of tools for you to inspect and analyze potential fraud flags. For confirmed fraud, you can click Add to Fraud List. For users that just forgot they had an account, I can mark the extra account as duplicate and merge the accounts. Or maybe this was a very identical twin. In that case, I can just mark them as twins. OK, so now let's look at the Age Check feature. So everyone is over 25 or over 30, and the confidence that they are is shown here. But notice this user 
it says under 13 in red. This is how we would flag an underage user. And this age flag level can be set to 13, 18, 25, or any level. And it can be automatically flagged for further review by your internal staff. For instance, you could require the user to show a photo ID in order to proceed, or get a parent to sign off that they have an account. Okay, so that's the Facetech server dashboard. We've highlighted lots of features for onboarding and authentication, lots of fraud fighting tools to stop the bad guys from creating fake accounts, and age checks to stop kids from accessing sites or downloading apps that they shouldn't be able to. Thank you for watching and we look forward to working with you.